Across Europe, the far right is on the rise, taking on governments, promising to end migration and shake up the EU. I wouldn't say we are living in a dictatorship, but there is less and less freedom day by day. But are they fueling hate? I think their aims are absolutely dangerous. We're traveling through the continent to find out what's behind their success. Propaganda TV. This is a propaganda TV. Could they be about to change Europe as we know it? Orbán Viktor. Orbán Viktor. Orbán Viktor. Orbán Viktor. There are some people who really believe and trust in Viktor Orbán like their God. It's like he built up a religion. Hát karizmatikus ember. Egy igazi vezető. This is nationalism in action. Viktor Orbán has led Hungary for almost a decade as the self-declared defender of Europe. Valós fenyegetésnek élik meg az európaiak, hogy Európa nem lesz többé európai. Giant government billboards tell people to support his plan to end immigration. Others promote family life. The Gabal family are almost as passionate about the government as they are about swimming. Hát ilyen jó kormány, még nem volt az országnak. Ö, olyan borzasztó nehéz helyzetből állította föl ezt az országot oda, ahol tart. Orbán's party has gained popular support here in Hungary, partly by offering large amounts of money to couples with more than two children. Dókedvezmények szerintem, ami nagyon fontos. Körülbelül, akinek három gyereke van, az szinte a, szinte bruttó, a bruttó összeget kapja meg. Nagyon, nagyon könnyű, azért nagyon könnyű itt az élet nekünk, mert szeretjük. Nagyon fáj a szívem, és nagyon fáj számomra az, hogy látom az országon pusztulását. For many, Orbán's Hungary is far from utopia, with the Prime Minister accused of corruption, and eroding people's democratic rights. In the village of Kubikaza, the mayor is one of his most outspoken critics. What has Viktor Orbán changed in this country since he took power? Minden megváltoztatott és sokkal rosszabb lett minden. A sajtószabadságot felszámolta, a, a jogintézményeket felszámolta. Én szomorú jövőt látok Magyarország. Over the past few years, Orbán has waged war with the European Union over its handling of migration. Hungary was at the front line of the refugee crisis, and although most people were just passing through, within weeks Orbán had built a fence to keep them out. And migrants are still the enemy here, in this EU election campaign. These posters are absolutely everywhere. Voters are being bombarded with this message to stop migration. And this is a country where last year there were fewer than 700 asylum seekers. We've asked many times to speak to someone from Orbán's party, Fidesz, about the EU elections, but they've refused. So we're heading to one of their campaign events. They only published their list of events for tonight, a couple of hours ago, and so we've had to race here to make it on time. And the reason that they do this, we're told, is that they don't like journalists from outside organisations like ours coming along. Yeah, he just spat in the window. Why is your EU election campaign focused on migration? when migrants have virtually stopped coming to Hungary in recent years? Well, uh, it's not a question whether in this time frame they are coming or not. This is mobilizing our electorate, that's the reason. That's what we are expecting to talk about. Are Hungary's values on a collision course with the EU's values? No, I don't think so. I don't understand really, and nobody understands in Hungary, why we are not 
really cherishing European values if we see the solution for the migration policy differently. Back in the border town of Kubikaza, I'm taken to where the fence begins, Hungary's border with Serbia and Romania. Here it acts as little more than a symbolic gesture. It's just a spit. Propaganda TV. This is a pro propaganda TV. This is state TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most of Hungary's media now has some link to the government, and migrant stories are constantly in the news. Az utóbbi időben volt csak talán, hogy 500 darab médiát vásárolt meg, vagy ilyen olyan módon kaparintott meg magának a kormány. A kormány tudja a propagandájával súlykolni a magyar társadalmat. What do you hear on the news about what's happening in Western Europe? Megérkeztek az emberek egy tömegesen is, hogy hogy a a miszörnyűségek vannak a települések. Nak indulhat a migráns kar. A migráció. A migránsok. A migráns. Migránsok terjedése. Járványokat hordoznak, terroristák vannak közöttük. Van például az illegális migráció és a terrorizmus elleni. A nők megerőszakolása. Gyilkosságok. Erőszakolják a lányainkat, feleségeinket. Hát egyszerűen, az ember kiítja a híreket, én annyira örülök, hogy Magyarországon élek. The country Orbán has built is alienating many young Hungarians. Hundreds of thousands have left the country since he came to power. In Budapest, I meet with Bertigin, who's grown up here. I feel frustrated and sad a lot, and, and that's why, I don't know, I think it's difficult to live here. I have so many friends, and most of them live in Copenhagen, Amsterdam, London. They've left Hungary? Yeah. I'm thinking about moving to another country. I'm actually not considering to raise a kid here. Hungary is not seen as a democratic country anymore. <laughs> no. I have my right to vote, but when I go to vote, my vote doesn't work that much. I'm the minority who actually seen the word and knows that things can be different. In the run-up to the European elections, Viktor Orban has run a vicious and personal campaign against the EU. But the fight back has started. The country has a new young opposition led by Anna Dunar. We decided to do a march standing up for the values, European values. Free press, equal rights for all people. I wouldn't say we are living in a dictatorship, but I know that uh, there is less and less freedom day by day. Because a lot of people living in, in fear. If they speak up, they're going to lose their job. If they go to a demonstration, their family is going to be harassed, their business is going to be shut down. How do you feel about the relationship that Orban is forging with the EU at the moment? Well, I think it's, it's a dangerous game. So far, he is a single freedom fighter, as he called himself. Uh, however, if his allies are uh, going to uh, get more power as well, uh, he can start a domino effect within the EU, which is dangerous. As nationalism gathers momentum across Europe, parties from different countries are planning to work together after the elections to fight the European Union from within. Orbán Viktor. Orbán Viktor. Ne. For so many of them, Viktor Orbán is their hero. Hungary, their inspiration. Igazából, aki, aki szerette a hazáját, az, az mindig büszke volt rá, csak most már mer is büszkelni, föl, fölmeri, emelni a fejét. Jó ez a megfogalmazás, ez a merjünk nagyok lenni. There are families who are getting money from Orbán and who are happy with their lives. That's the, the biggest sin of this government, that there are hundreds of thousands of people benefiting from the system and they are safe, and then hundreds of thousands of people living in such bad condition that they don't have tomorrow. <laughs>